Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Swadeshi VIP. In this video, we will discuss about bleeding calf syndrome. As the name implies, this illness is categorized by bleeding from the skin, mucous membranes and even the intestines. Mothers are often in excellent condition and it primarily affects tiny calves that are under 4 weeks old. While it is deadly to the calf, the disease is carried by the cow and the symptoms are contracted through her colostrum. Also known as idiopathic hemorrhagic diathesis of calves or blood sweating disease, the cause of this newly identified disease is unknown. Before moving forward in this video and discussing the details, we should tell you about how this disease looks. Clinical symptoms in calves include bleeding from locations under the skin that seems to be intact as well as from injection and ear tagging sites as well as evidence of bleeding from the nose, rectum and visible mucous membranes. Calves may pass sticky black excrement and there may be intestinal hemorrhage. Observed in calves is a high temperature. The calves bone marrow which generates the red and white blood cells necessary for the animal's immune system and blood clotting process is nearly ended which results in the symptoms. Although it is unclear if the harm is happening in the womb or just after delivery. It appears to be happening at or right around the moment of birth. The reason is yet unknown. Investigations are being conducted in several different lines including management and environmental aspects of the impacted farms are checked. Even if there isn't any proof of any infectious cause right now, it can't be completely ruled out either. Being a cattle owner, the first question that must be coming to your mind is if this disease is curable or if not, what the death rate is. Only a few calves have been affected in any one herd, but once affected, they usually die. The mortality rate of calves with disease is about 95%. There are reports, mainly anecdotal, of some affected calves making a full recovery. Only calves less than 4 weeks old are affected. The mothers of affected calves are usually perfectly healthy. Till date, there is no such proper treatment available for this syndrome but vets do give the drugs containing vitamin K and transamic acid these helps in causing clots to reduce blood loss in calves we can use long-acting antibiotics to prevent secondary bacterial infection other than this we have an option of transfusion but after all this the mortality rate is very high than the recovery rate to prevent this there is just one way if you have seen that calf from a particular cattle gets this disease it's suggested that don't feed them the colostrum of the mother cattle feed them with colostrum of other cow whose calves are perfectly healthy and separate the affected calf from the others. So this was all about the topic. For more such videos on cattle health and dairy products, subscribe to our channel Swadeshi VIP. Thank you.